my friends in the Somali community, many of whom are here tonight. But I would also, when I wasn't working, go out into the rest of the community, and because of what I do for a living, I think people assumed I had certain views that I don't have. And so, for reasons I didn't understand, people felt free at gatherings, at a coffee shop, at a restaurant, to express their bigoted opinions to me. And it was very striking, because I felt like somehow just hearing those words, I was cheating my friends. My friend Abdi Muhammad from the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office, <coughs> Officer Ali, Abdi Malik, Hodan, Fahio, people who are here tonight who are my good friends. And so I became very frustrated. And I would have tried to explain this to people in the community, but they didn't want to listen. And so I was sitting at my desk about six weeks ago with this frustration boiling over because I know so many of you and I know what we share and I know what we want for our community. I know what Hashi wants for our community. I know what our Imams want for our community. And this was before Paris. It was before San Bernardino. It was before the current wave of rhetoric. And I put down in words what I felt. And before I could um, check with a whole lot of people, because I'm supposed to check with people before I do things, <laughs> uh, I emailed it off to the Star Tribune and I said, could you publish this? And then I told people what I had done. <laughs> um, <coughs> And they put it in the paper. And it came from the heart. And then two things happened. First, I got the hate mail that is a written expression of what I'm afraid so many of you experience on a daily basis. I got it. And I have it. But I also got a tremendous number of letters and emails and phone calls from people I'd never met before telling me how happy they were that I wrote those words. People were telling me that they were Republicans and they were Democrats and they were this and they were that and they came from all over the state of Minnesota. And so I'm not a rabbi, I kind of always wanted to be, but it didn't work out for me. Uh, I'm not an imam, but I, there's time. Uh, I just wanted to share with you that in these difficult, strenuous times of fear and hatred, we really are together. We really are sharing the same common experience, and we really are all together speaking out against something 